Hey guys, I'm back. I'm functioning. If you didn't watch yesterday's video about why I have back pain, go check that out. Um, I was going to go to either Walmart or Costco today. Um, I still need to look for a costume for Abby. And I need to, I, I realized I was going to go do Costco shopping after we get back in town. Um, next week, we leave on Thursday morning, super early, so, um, I was just going to go back when, go to Costco when we get back, or try and send Jason, but he doesn't get off work in time to do shopping at Costco, so, and that's why he can't go, because he has to work. Um, so, I was going to do that, and I have been sitting here editing, um, thinking I was all better from yesterday and the night before. I had a good night's sleep, I think. Um, I, didn't, I didn't sleep enough, but I didn't wake up because of my back. And so I thought I was fine, and then I kind of got my sweatshirt on and put my hair down. I had it pulled up wet last night, so I pulled down the curls. I need to kind of fix them or pull it back up because I don't, I don't really care anymore. But um, I, my, I have like that dull ache in my back again, which is how it normally is like just during my cycle. I don't really understand. But I don't want to have it flare up when I'm out and about and it's cold and rainy and gross outside and I, the last thing I want to do is go out and be out and have something happen while I'm out. And so I decided to stay home and I want to tinker. I don't want to clean. <laughs> and so I was going to do these little deer headbands of Ashley's. So I kind of went to my craft supply buckets and started gathering up some flowers to put on it. I'm going to do like kind of a floral little part here. So I thought I would do like white little sprigs on that side and on this side. I have my headband to do too. This, is, this one is Ashley's. And then I thought I would throw in some kind of some green. I've got to layer these flowers up. Then I thought it would be pretty to put like a pop of color. Look at that. That'll look pretty. Or the this color blue. So, but in the process of gathering up um, some of my craft supplies, for those of you who are new or have not ever seen me do a crafting here on my channel, um, in part of doing this project and a few other ones that I've done lately, my main craft tools bucket um, has been driving me nuts, and I'll show you that. Um, this is my crafting wall. This is where I keep everything. It's all organized, labeled, you know, whatnot. I have, you know, paint in the paint one, and sewing stuff in the one, and I even have one for nail polish, um, and extra projects that I either didn't finish or the kids didn't finish, office supplies. I have, I have it labeled, you name it, it's in a bucket. You know, I know where everything is. My kids are learning where everything is. Um, and I tell what Jason where everything is because he still doesn't know. But there's one bucket that I has been driving me nuts. So I think today is the day for me to kind of tinker and work on this. Because all I have to do it, um, in order to go on this trip is to pack my stuff. Abby, um, I guess I'll talk about that really quick and then we'll finish doing this bucket. Yesterday when I was pretty sick and down and out on the couch. I started to get worried about not being able to pack up and get ready to go. And so I I could have put Jason in charge of kind of getting the kids ready to go. And I realized as much as he is a help with, the, you know, around the house, he actually vacuumed the whole house. And he did all the dishes and um, fought with Abby or Ashley on unloading her dishes and help me keep laundry going and he would kind of when I was able to sit up on the couch he'd bring me a pile of towels to fold and put into the laundry basket so he was really helpful yesterday but my Abby is me <laughs> she's like my version of me and so in a little form in a little 12 year old body and she kind of looked at me and she's like mom give me the list. So she got her iPad out and she made a little list of all the things that I needed her to go and get packed up. Let me show you what she did yesterday. She seriously, I love her. I told her, um, I asked her, I was like, what can I do to, you know, pay you back? And she's like, chocolate. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm gonna get her chocolate sometime. If I don't go out today, I will get it for her tomorrow. Um, I might go out just to go for a drive, maybe even just go to a gas station to get her some chocolate and me a drink or something. But let me show you what she did yesterday. She's such a sweetheart. So she gathered all of the shoes. These are all the wedding shoes that we're gonna need. Everyone's, we kind of all have boots. So there's Ashley's shoes, my shoes, and Kaylee fell in love with my shoes enough that now she wanted a pair, so Jason got her a pair from our store. And everyone else's shoes they're gonna wear on the plane and then throughout the rest of the week. And then I've got my bag that I'm gonna kinda use for my carry-on along with my purse. So then Abby, she doesn't have her stuff down here, but she went ahead and gathered up all of the stuff for Chelsea and Ashley. I mean, look at all that she did in here. She folded it up. I want to show you this. Their socks kind of came out. But she folded it up all their underwear, and their pajamas are over here. And then she, like, folded up outfits. So that's, like, one whole outfit for Chelsea. And then there's another outfit for Chelsea. Uh, pants and shirt <laughs> and then there's one more down here isn't that cute she folded all that up and then we got it all tucked away in the little pouch here so that I can put them in this suitcase then I can pack up my little cube and the wedding dresses and then I think we'll be set um, for packing I've already packed up my makeup kind of left it in the bag from when I went to my sister's bridal shower and so I've just been working out of that makeup bag since then so it's gonna be pretty easy and then it's just a matter of grabbing power cords and I uh, like battery chargers for this so that's kind of where I'm at today kind of not the calm before the storm but there's not as much I need to do today and so I just thought I would sit down here with Netflix and <laughs> tinker with this these headbands. But then let me show you this bucket. Kind of comes back to this little craft bucket. All right, so here is the craft bucket. I think this one is my, I don't think it's labeled on that side. It's labeled on this side. Craft tools is what's in here. And it literally has come apart. Like, check this out. It's like, such a mess. Like ribbon doesn't belong in here. There's chalk. There's trinkets. Um, I mean it is just like a mess. I can't ever find anything. Like it's just crazy. So I'm gonna sit down here. I'm gonna pull my nice comfy chair up to the table over here. I wiped all the counters down in here and that's kind of when I was like you know what if I'm willing to clean the whole office <laughs> I might as well clean out this one bucket that's kind of driving me nuts. So I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to turn on my Netflix. I have got two videos that are uploading on the computer over there. And I don't have anything else to do. And so, oh, and I also pulled out a frozen ham and some potatoes for dinner tonight. Just in case I end up not feeling well this afternoon. That's something easy for my girls to just wrap potatoes or even stick them in the microwave on potato setting and then throw the, uh, the ham in the oven, and they can have that for dinner tonight in case I'm not feeling well, but if not, then I have an easy dinner all ready to go. Um, Jason is gonna go to dinner tonight with one of his business partners, so um, he will miss out on dinner tonight. He probably won't be at home until probably eight or so, just because they both have to close their stores and do all their office work before they can even go out to dinner, <laughs> so. But for now, I'm gonna organize this bucket and then I'm going to work on this little Halloween costume for Ashley and myself. All right, so this is all garbage. I've gone through everything from the bucket and this is everything that <laughs> I need to now put back in the bucket. You guys, maybe I don't need to have two things of silver wire and two of this green wire and a lot of pipe cleaners <laughs> anyway but these are all the tools that I have you know this is pro some of these might be able to go back into an actual toolbox but I like to have them here in my craft tools and then I pulled out the little snack bucket that I had from the kids 
I'll get another one when I need it. Um, cause I wanted to kind of put some of these little baubles in here and I might tuck more down in here as I find that I need them like these. Kind of nice to just get rid of the bucket and put them in one of there. I'm going to put chalk in this one. Got another baggie of chalk. So I'll put that in there. So I'm still kind of working through this, but if I can put all the little doodads in this guy, then it'll free up the space just for like the actual tools. I wish I could find the one that had a longer slot, like right here. Maybe I'll go look and see if I have a better one of these. All right, so here's what we are left with. Now I've got an empty bucket for everything to go back in, and I've got my little container here with all the little doodads. I've got like the little clippies. Got some more of these ones. I use these ones a lot at Christmas time. I've got Christmas cards. I need to find the other bag of them. And then all this little stuff fits perfectly in this little container. And then I can put that in here like that. And then I thought that I would just put like these tools here so I can get them out still, whether this is in here or not. that put that stuff down in there and then if I have to put stuff like this on top I can maybe I'll put some of these things I might put these things underneath this bucket maybe I'll do that first all right so I've got this all put together and bring it over here in the light you can see it a little bit better so I've got like tape and a little sander block right there I wrap the rest of that little fishing line around the paper clip and I've got my wire things right here and then glue gun glue I use this all the time and then all the tools will go along here I have one more glue gun that I have up there that I'm gonna use that can go right here and then I always have a pencil here that has a bad end on it because I use that for glue gun to kind of push down and then it doesn't matter if it gets ruined and then I've got my bucket here and then I just decided to keep this stuff underneath there because I don't ever get under you know I don't need it very often let me get that e6000 out there so I might change it up if it's too hard to like get tools out maybe I'll find another little container that the tools can be in so that it doesn't like fall over every time I open this up so got that done and then this is what I've got left so this is what I deem more as craft supplies this is more craft tools so I have a second bucket for this kind of stuff and then the paint goes in the paint bucket with the brush and then I have ribbon all right so I've got my craft supplies and my ribbon bucket I'll show you this one I don't think it needs to be like decluttered I keep this one pretty organized but I think I just need to get those paper clips put back into this one. See, there's already some in there. I've just got like doodads that I kind of use to decorate and craft with. And this stuff just needs to get put into here for future projects. That kind of thing. These blocks right here, I think I'm just going to put those. This is just scrap wood. I was going to make a project out of them, but I think I'll just put them out in my scrap wood. And then we'll do the ribbon in this bucket down here. Okay, so I have a bag. I got these from like the Michaels, their $4 grab bags. I got a whole bunch of this ribbon from one of those. So that is done. And then I just need to put the paint brush and this chalk paint away. And I actually have a bucket with like bigger things of paint because my bigger ones don't fit into the regular paint bucket. This is the regular paint bucket here that I'll put the paintbrush in. All right, it's been three hours. <laughs> I had another minor episode, I took me to the couch. Then I kind of fell asleep. And now all the kids are home and Abby's working on the costume again. And she's done one of the ears and it looks really cute and Ashley you want to say hi? It's good. 
she's having her snack and Chelsea got excited because she saw that I had oh, my hair you guys have been on the couch no oh, she did wash them that's so cute Chelsea saw that I had potatoes on the counter for dinner so she went ahead and washed them and preheated my oven for me so I take it she wants dinner sooner than later so we're gonna wrap up our potatoes and get started on dinner and I just felt bad that I kind of didn't feel good and ended up falling asleep but I guess that's what my body, need, body needed me to do so all right so we've got the potatoes in the oven now and because I cut this piece of ham in half when I first got it and cooked the first half I wrapped this one up in foil and put it in the freezer and now it's ready to go dinner is in the oven and I kind of want to go back to the couch oh Ashley you took my spot Oh, goober. Daddy. I'm going to get that spot back. <laughs> um, and I think Jason fixed this light yesterday. And now it doesn't work again. I don't know what the deal is. I'm feeling good enough for like a second to do laundry. But now the light is out. So I can't really bring you guys along. But I need to get this laundry done so I can pack tomorrow. There's a few spare pieces like Ashley's tights. That she wore to church yesterday need to be used in the wedding so um wow I've got like lioness going on here with my hair so I'm gonna pull it up do some laundry really quick it's you know living the life here now I'm really glad that I didn't um, leave the house or else that little thing would have happened when I was out so just wanted to show Abby's work. Look how cute that's gonna be. I love it. You're doing a really good job, kiddo. All right, we've got dinner ready, but I wanted to see what your cute head head headband, <laughs> not headphones, it needs to kind of get pushed down on your head a little bit. But that's really cute. Do you like them? And then we'll put the antlers on them um, as we get closer to Halloween. Let me see. Do you like it? You're being weird. Okay, let's go have dinner. Yes, and then end our night. <laughs> oh, you just broke it. You wait, you'll get me happy. Yeah, it's broken. What? The little flash, or the yeah, the flashlight thingy here. Oh. Okay, let's go have dinner. And I'll fix it later. You guys. <laughs> I am done for the day. I'm ready for bed. I actually have. There's Abby. I actually have my clothes down here that I'm going to pack up. The cube is in that suitcase. So I just brought everything down here. So all of these clothes will go into my one cube, including all of these dresses. These are all our wedding dresses. So here's a little sneak peek of the wedding dresses. And you'll actually probably see this video close to when the wedding day is. I can tell you exactly when that is for privacy sake but these are the dresses and this is the whole color scheme of her wedding along with greens and um, natural wood so that's kind of fun and Abby finished the two little headbands we lost the one headband for a little bit today and then we found it oh here it'll just be better if I show you down here on the counter all right so here they are they turned out really cute Abby did a good job and then we'll add the antlers it's kind of fun so we're just gonna call it a night looks like Abby's getting her breakfast ready for the morning right mm -hmm. she's a planner she's like me she's gonna get her lunch ready she's gonna get her breakfast yeah she just kind of plans for what she wants to get she makes sure she gets the last of the chips if that's the case and she's my, she's my child <laughs> she just is a planner Oh, is that yucky now? Well, like, no, it just built stuff separates. Oh. I don't know, like, it. Um, are you eating that now? No. Oh. So, anyway, I'm going to call it a night. It's 8.10 and Jason's still not home yet. I knew it was going to be a late dinner meeting for him. Someone opened up the girl's bag. I'm not sure who did that. Chelsea probably. Chelsea.
Chelsea probably switched one of her outfits. Maybe because she knows that I switched her outfit. Yeah, she probably does. So. I know. Chelsea would love to wear her little t-shirts and a pair of shorts the whole time we're on this little trip, but we aren't letting her pack any of that. And I hear kids wake. So I'm going to sign off, go check on them. We'll see you guys another day.